Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Text brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about global changes and depreciation. Oftentimes, paint is old. It's at least five to ten years old at the time of a loss. So how do you make changes across your entire estimate so you don't have to do it one by one, line item by line item, to show that it's been depreciated by its age? Well, first and foremost, I have an Xactimate 28 estimate here. And I'm going to come up to the top right, and I'm going to do PNT P2. And I'm going to put one in room one, and I'm going to put one in room two. So just to show you that they're different, I will change this to 40 down here in the count. So I have the wall scalings 528 and the 40 here. Now I can right click this, and I can go to global changes, and I can try and do that. But that's uh, time consuming, and I want to be able to do it all at once, because I know all these paint line items need to be depreciated accordingly. So I can actually select both rooms, and you'll see here I have all the estimate uh, line items for those two rooms. I can right click, you can see the calc is 568 based off the 528 and the 40. I can right click and I can go to global changes. And under the global changes, I want to make changes too, and you have lots of global changes options. Coverage, factory, if you want to change it from dwelling to contents or something else along those lines. Uh, tags, depreciation, contents, notes, labor minimum. But for this video, we're talking about depreciation. And I don't want to do all of the line items, it's just the paint line items. So I'm going to select, and I'm just going to choose the select the paint category line items. Now how much do I want to change, depreciate it by? Do not change, amount, percentage. In this case, we're talking age. So I'm going to unclick do not change age. I'm going to age it by five years. I'm not changing the condition in any way, shape, or form. And depreciation type. RCV versus ACV. In a state like California, where we are, it's uh, most homeowners policies are RCV, so that you would actually get that uh, depreciated value back after uh, in completing the repairs. So let's uh, replace all the items here and age it by five years. I'm gonna hit okay, it runs the global changes, item two of two is complete, and you'll see here now, in each individual room, it has a depreciation value of five years. Of note, I'm using a price list right now that has uh, zeroed out. Everything's been zeroed out uh, for the purpose of these videos. But it does show you here that depreciation has been uh, calculated to each one by five years uh, when you select both rooms to look at all the line items. So this is how you access global changes, uh, how you can depreciate line items by category with those global changes to kind of speed up some of the finalization process while estimating and or adjusting. This has been another exact hack. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next Thursday.